We're stripping the paint off the top covers today and just using standard hardware store paint stripper and a toothbrush. Just going to let that sit on there for about 15 minutes, bubble up a little bit, and we'll scrape it off with a razor blade. And then we'll do the sides. And then I'll come back and I'll hit it with the DA with some 80 grit on it. And that'll get it down to where it looks like that. So right now we'll just get the heavy paint off. And then we got to work on that one. And hopefully we'll have these guys close to bare metal today. Making progress. Another day, some more progress. So we got one of the top panels going. Obviously, you can see we got quite a dinger in that. So that'll have to be hammered out. But for the day, pretty good run. Got that looking good. So now, turn our attention to that one. Coming down to the last face panel that I have to strip. So, same deal. Use some chemical stripper, then we'll hit it with some 80 grit sandpaper, wire wheel. We'll see how that comes out. I'm going to start working on this dent in this top panel. And it's a pretty good wallop on there. Just kind of putting a straight edge on it. As you can see, that is a deep dent, and it's also proud of the surface here. So, we're going to get hammer and dolly out, and we're going to throw some heat at it. So, we're going to warm it up, start tapping it out. All right, round one, pretty doggone close. Got a few little spots. We're going to heat her up again, different hammer. Try to get a little more right in here, maybe a little bit right there. And I think we're a little low right on the center because this is crowned. So we'll put that crown back in. But getting it hot, I'll tell you, metal wants to go back to where it was. I'm, I'm just convinced of that. You get it hot and just tap it and leave it slightly low. It goes right back to where it wants to be. So pretty close. There we go. That is looking really good. Now I'm going to hit it with a nice sharp file and just try to check for high spots, low spots. Maybe even put a little 60 grit on a hard sanding block. Just make sure I've got it as level as I can and then we'll just put a little skim coat of filler in there, not much. And we should be done. There we go. It's looking pretty good. So we've hammered it out and now I've had it in the blast cabinet just to get the little bits cleaned up. I think we got that dent looking pretty good. Like I say, a skim of filler, just a touch. It should be looking good. And we just got some of the rust. There was a little bit of rust on the bottom. I like to sandblast that. Looks like I got to do a little more down here. Um, I like to sandblast that out, get it all down to bare metal before I hit it with primer. I'm going to do some work to the inside. These panels had just a little bit of rust. Looks like this lower edge had some moisture sitting on it. So a little bit of rust in here. And I'm starting to hit that in the blast cabinet. You can see I got this cleaned up all the way. I, I get all the way to the bottom of those pits. But it's got a hole here. I've got a few small holes here. I'm going to sandblast those, weld them up. This is the tab where this installs. The little bracket comes through here. And on this side, it's gone. So we're going to have to make that. So we'll make a little patch panel, weld it in, and cut this rectangular shape into it. And then we'll be able to have it latch properly on both sides. So a little more sandblasting down there, and a little bit of sheet metal work. Paint stripping's coming along. We'll start stripping this top surface right here. Got the heavy stuff off that surface, so now we'll do the top. 
There we go. Got the heavy paint off, hit it with some 80 grit on a DA, and just got the heavy stuff. So now this one will go in the sandblaster just to get the, the last bit off of it. The top covers look like they used to have some kind of trim piece bolted on here and here. I'm guessing a little handle or a rub rail for the, the hose. I don't have those. I can't find them. I'm just going to weld up those holes. So we're going to take and fire up the MIG welder and fill those bad boys in. So one nice thing about welding thicker sheet metal. It's real easy. So we got those filled in, now we'll grind them down nice and smooth. And a little grinding and all done. So this top piece looks like it was originally held in with like a Zeus fastener right here. You can see it's got a little Zeus connector there. And then I think it had a, just a key lock right here that would probably keep this from lifting up. And since the Zeus fastener will hold it, I don't really need this hole. So I'm going to take, I've got some sheet metal over here, and we'll cut a little template, cut a piece out, and we'll tap that, tap that into here. And then we'll MIG weld it, grind it down. So we'll fill that hole. So I've grabbed a piece of scrap and just laid it up behind the hole, marked it with a Sharpie. Now I'll grind that down, get it just a little bit undersized, and then we'll pop that in there. So I just went on a bench grinder and just slowly ground this down until I got close to my marks. And now we'll pop it in there. So we got it in place. Now we'll fire up the MIG welder, start tacking it, and then we'll go all the way around. We'll kind of hammer and dolly it in as we go to make sure it's right, right up there with flush. And on the back side, I'm just simply holding it in with a piece of duct tape. And that duct tape will just evaporate once the heat hits it. But all I got to do is get a tack in, and then I'm going. So we'll fire up the MIG. Got a nice tack done. Now I'll hammer and dolly it and tack it again. A couple more tacks. Now I'll clean it up and we'll start going around. Don't want to get too much heat into it, don't want it to warp. So we'll clean her up. A couple more tacks. There we go. Got the welding done. Now just a little clean up with the grinder. And a little grinding, and we got her finished up. So, came out pretty decent. So now we don't have that lock hole there anymore, and it's all steel. Working on another rust spot. It's one of the top faces, and those attach with these slots. And these slots nest into the pump. Right down here on, on these features, one on each side. And the problem I've got here, I've got a nice slot here, but over here it's gone. It's all rotted out. So I'm going to trim this out, cut this off, make a new piece right there, and weld that in. So we're going to cut another piece of sheet metal out, start trimming it up. And then we'll cut that rust out and we'll, we'll melt, MIG weld that in. Well, I've got the shape cut out and it matches pretty good. Fit it back in here and I've got the opening looking good. Left a little extra stock on the top and then once I weld this in place I'll just trim that off. 
what I'll do is I'll take this, flip it, and then we will weld it in right there. We'll cut the rest of this rusty stuff out. That's pretty thin, but we'll weld that in, and then we'll have a tab on both sides. And this was actually pretty easy to make. You know, I just marked it with Sharpie, and then basically I just took a drill bit and just drilled a series of holes down the length of the slot. Then I put it, put a carbide tip up in my drill press and just opened up in between the slots, got it kind of close. And then the last step was just taking a file, putting it in there and just filing it up until I got the nice rectangular shape. So pretty easy. So now I got to come in here, trim this area up, and then we'll make that in. So I've cut out the thin rusty metal back to solid metal and put the patch panel in and just clamped it down. Now what I'm going to do is just tack it and tack it and then I'll take a hammer and dolly and flush everything up tight and then I'll continue tacking then eventually I'll weld everything around. So there it is tacked in. So I went down, tacked it, ground it down, cleaned it up. We got nice solid metal now. And we got a nice tab for lining up. So uh, let's put this back on, make sure everything lines up. So I'm going to try to one hand this, but yeah. I'm going to line up the, the tab at the bottom. There's one. There's, And there we go. So it's lining up nice, it's fitting nice. We're on that tab there, and we're on that tab there. So I've got that finished. I'm going to do a little more welding today on these top panels. Uh, this groove that the glass goes in, you can see down here, it's getting a little thin. So we're going to take and just try to lay some beads in here and then shape it with a grinder. See if we can get enough of a lip back that will hold the gasket and give us a nice look. But that's going to be thin metal. Everything's been sandblasted. So we're just going to try to tack some beads along here and then grind them down and see if we can get that lift looking decent. Okay, so we laid a couple beads down really thin metal so I couldn't really get it as hot as I'd want but I think we got that edge built back up so now we're going to take our little grinder and just form it so that it looks like that so we get that contour so we'll hit it but uh, got quite a bit built up there so hopefully that will help so we did a little bit of grinding and needs a little more work but pretty close so now we've got a lip to set the glass in. I got just a little more in there, but slow go. So a little more grinding and sanding. We got a lip back. So this piece is looking good. Now we'll do the next one. That is kind of a tedious job to get that groove in there, but then the weather strip will, or the seal will go right in there. So. Yeah, one down, one to go. Yeah, this other side's going to be a little bit more work. Check out that lip. We're losing a lot of that material. And I already started a little tacking down on this side, but we'll, we'll go through that whole thing, do the same thing. We'll fill it in, and then we'll come back with cutoff wheels and grinders and files, and we'll put that shape back into it, and we'll be able to hold the window in. So let's fire up the welder and we'll do it again. Well, we've got a couple inches done. Now the hard part. The next five or six inches are going to be pretty tough, but we're getting that lip going. Well, a lot of little tack welds and we've laid beads across all that thin metal, burned out whatever was too thin, 
welded it up. I think I got it to the right height. Now we'll grind it down. Have a look. So we got some grinding done on this side. Pretty good. Now we're going to grind down this side.